You're here! Welcome back to my channel! If you're new here, my name is Natalia, also known as Chef Rodakova, and today we'll be cooking edible transparent wrappers with some peppermint candy. So, let's start with edible wrappers. The first thing that you need to do is to mix together the following ingredients. 400 grams of cold water, 10 grams of regular unflavored gelatin, and 2.5 grams of food-grade glycerin. So mix everything together, whisk, 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 put it on a stove top, bring it to boil and simmer gently while continuously whisking. And the next step is molding. For that, you can use any kind of non-stick and flat surface. The keyword is flat. I'm going to use here my non-stick pen. And I've seen also on the um, YouTube that, that some guys are using plastic lids. So that's kind of genius. I'm going to use that as well. And now I'm going to pour my gelatin glycerin liquid inside, a very thin layer, and let it rest for about two days. Yes, it takes time, guys. Just to clarify for you, we need to rest it in uh, room temperature, somewhere in a dark, calm place where nobody is touching it, nobody is moving it, and nobody is breathing on it. And now I'm going to make some delicious peppermint candies, and I'm going to use some fresh mint for that. So the first thing I want to do is to extract some mintiness from my fresh mint leaves. And in order to do that, I'm going to puree everything in a food processor. And I'm going to add here just a little bit of coconut cream, about five grams. Next, pass everything through a sieve with double cheesecloth and squeeze out all the mintiness. Next, we are going to mix together using a stand mixer our mint extract, 30 grams of softened butter or vegan butter if you're going to make uh, vegan candies, 220 grams of icing sugar, a pinch of salt, and a little bit of green food colorant. Then you can form a little dough ball like this, put it in an airtight container and let it rest for a few hours or overnight. On the next day, you can take out your candy dough and roll out some candies, any shape, any size you like. I made one like this, rectangular shape, just for fun. And finally, let's unmold our edible wrap, trim it and wrap the candy inside. Yeah, uh, one downside fact about using plastic lids 
If your lead has a recycling mark or any mark at all, it, it will also transfer this to your wrap. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like it and smash that subscribe button and don't forget to comment as well. What do you think about this recipe? Would you try it at home? All of this really helps YouTube algorithm and it helps my channel to grow. So I truly appreciate it. Meanwhile, here is another extra tip or suggestion for you. I would serve these peppermint candies at the end of the meal, uh, like an extra treat from the chef and to freshen your breath. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Time to eat candy.